Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Star Wars 2022 set review. Today we are looking at set number 75326, Boba Fett's Throne Room. This has 732 pieces and is retailing for $99.99 USD or $129.99 Canadian. And this was actually picked up today by my friend who found this early in Walmart here in Canada and... I've seen this at Costco. I think that's where most people have been getting theirs in the U.S. for $20 off, I think. So it's a pretty good price. Uh, so definitely check your Costco's. I checked here in Canada. haven't seen it. So we're looking at this now. And I got to say, I love it. I really love this set. And please, if you are leaving the video, just listen to this one bit of advice here. As someone who missed out on a lot of Star Wars sets focusing on other themes, one of my biggest regrets was not picking up the 2013 Jabba's Palace. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a set that you'll regret not picking up. The figures in here are stellar, and the set itself is really great. And I hope and I feel like there is rooms for expansion here. So we're going to talk about that. It might be a whole separate video actually trying to make some of those expansions. So stay tuned for that, but let's go ahead. Let's get started. So I want to start with the palace itself. And this is the palace all connected up here. And let me just do like a little 360 here just to show you what it looks like. But there's a lot that you can actually do to open this. So I want to start here with the exterior. We're going to work our way through the palace. And, and how this starts is you come through the main door. And the main door has a play feature. But you could also swing it open here. There's some room for maybe some expansions and stuff there. It attaches onto that little hinge there that hand grabs onto that little pole part sticking out and the door is really cool i love the dark brown mixed in with the reddish brown and that is actually a print there for the eye you can uh, push it out a little bit as well and if you want to you can actually have the door completely open up just like it does and i think this is meant to be like a little mounted turret gun here which has a lot of rotatability but i really like the entrance here there's definitely room for like you know c3po and r2d2 there and yeah, the outside here, you've got a little snake on the outside of Jabba's palace, which the controversy came in the dome, not necessarily the rest of the outside here. And then this side here, very reminiscent to like Mos Eisley, I think, uh, with the color scheme and all that, which I mean, all of Tatooine buildings really are like that. But just kind of turning it around here, you could see what it looks like here from the interior now of this doorway and you could lift it up here and you could see just how well that that actually works and if you want you actually push the eye forward so that it'll actually get caught and it won't allow the door to actually fall down so you could leave it open there so yeah you've got a little cup there not sure why maybe that's what the Gamorreans you know he's just standing by the door eating and drinking there and then you've also got this little panel there I'm assuming to open and close the door now there is a feature where you could have the Gamorrean guard actually fall down the stairs because you put the Gamorrean guard on the stairs and then all you do here is you just flick him down so that's one of two killing features in this set. Up above the rest of the tower, it's a little weak, probably the weakest part of the set, but there is actually a pair of binoculars there, and then you can also see how the door slowly can close, or, you know, you can force it down a lot more there, but you could if you wanted to actually put a Gamoran guard there looking out into the desert. And here's the main section, and it's really cool. Like this throne, the build of it, I think, looks really great. The stickers here, there's four stickers in the whole set. There's six stickers in the whole set. You see them here, one, two, three, four, and five, and six. You've got little Pac-Man decals there at the top, and the Rancors there, which is like molded into throne, which looks really cool, as well as the detail there in the back. Looks really neat. And of course, you've got like the grate where the Rancor pit is above, Maybe we could see a Rancor Pit expansion. It'd be a little difficult, I think, with the design of this. But I love just, like, the stud showing there and just some of the accessories around here uh, that you've got uh, there with uh, some questionable substances inside there. Maybe some popcorn or something. I don't know, space popcorn. You've got some sort of bottle there as well as a chalice in the back. And we'll take a closer look at the back in a second. But all this is actually removable here. You can actually pull out this entire section revealing some best car ingots as well. Maybe those are credits. Then you've also got a silver blaster and a, another little blaster there. But to show you, we actually have one more play feature with this throne. And that is the death feature. So you sit Bib Fortuna up top there. 
and then you actually shoot him like Boba does in the end of The Mandalorian, and he falls off his throne. Um, I don't know if he's really meant to go that way, but he's more meant to fall over there. And then, of course, Boba then takes a seat on his throne. So really, really cool. Now in behind the throne room, this all actually completely opens up, revealing that there's actually this grill in the back there, which you can rotate. You've got some giant turkey legs there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. You've got another little bottle there. I think that's meant to be the bottle that Fennec is drinking. And then you've also got um, like some sort of crystal. Maybe it's a kyber crystal, probably not. And then over here, I'm not sure what that's meant to be, uh, these lights, but you've got a little computer panel there as well as this, like a faucet or something, I'm not sure. And then you've got a bottle and a pot and a little faucet there as well. And now this side section, it is also able to actually be detached and kind of rotated and you can angle it however you want. But there is a couple of different seats there you could see in the dark red. It allows you to take some of the figures there and like the quarant and actually have them sitting inside. Just, you know, chilling. There's a little light on the table, I think. And then again, there's another seat. Up above, there is actually this little chest, which on the inside has two thermal detonators. <laughs> I want to show you it from this angle from above to go through all of the different expansion spots that I think could happen. On the side here, of course, like you saw before, there are these two little hinges here that could be expanded upon. And you notice there's actually archways leading to nothing if that is the case there. So I think that's kind of suspicious. Another archway there. This one at least connects to the other room, sort of. But I definitely feel like there's spots here to have expansions. And same here on the top. Like, these hinges to me are very, very odd. But even looking at this here, to me, the dead giveaway is the flat tiles there. Mixed in with the limited amount of studs actually showing. I feel like there could be a spot here on the top for the back-to-tank room or something like that. And then, of course, maybe underneath, if this is strong enough, could potentially have a Rancor pit as well. And it doesn't necessarily mean that all these expansions have to be from the Book of Boba Fett, but stay tuned because I've got a few ideas. So let me know if you want to see me get another one of these sets, maybe a third one, and just kind of expand and build different rooms that we've seen from Return of the Jedi, as well as maybe other things like Clone Wars, and then also from the Book of Boba Fett. Here we are, and we're going to start with Boba Fett himself, since, you know, this is his show, kind of, sort of, sometimes. And uh, I really love this figure. This is the first time that I'm getting him. I never built uh, Boba Fett's starship, and it's very, very detailed. Like, the side arm printing there is incredible on both sides. Really love the shoulder printing, as well as the torso and the leg printing there as well. Really, really great. I know that some people have a problem with like the helmet and the jetpack, and I'm sure Lego hopefully will fix that in time. But this face here as well looks really, really detailed. He's a little more healed than when he actually appeared on the Mandalorian, so I think we kind of need a better face here for him, but still. It's so detailed. I really love it. And this is what his back torso printing looks like as well. And here is Bib Fortuna, and technically it's really his throne room, but still really cool. I don't think the set would sell as well if you called it that, but I love the new Leku piece here. It's really, really great, and it doesn't really cover his second face there. But spinning around here on the back, you can see he's got this shot expression and shocked expression, we'll call it. Not shot, definitely not shot. Uh, but the back torso printing, really, really detailed. Here is Fennec Shand, and really disappointing. I think that she doesn't come with the helmet. I think, you know, she's seen in most of that scene with the helmet on, so kind of a shame, but that doesn't take away from the detail of this figure. Like, the side arm printing is incredible here, and same with the leg printing and the torso printing. The face print as well is exclusive to her so far, and the hair that she's actually using here is actually Makari's from the Eternals, it just doesn't work for her. They don't share the same type of hair. And on the back there, she does have this little smirk there, I think. Is it a smirk? That's more of a smirk that's concerned. Here's the Gamorian Guard, and I haven't gotten one since I was a kid when the first palace came out. So really, really cool to see here. And the mold there, they brought it back. Really, really great. New leg printing, and I think the gloves as well are new. But I think that overall, like, this is very, very detailed, and I feel like a lot of people are going to want multiple of this to have in their palace. And underneath, if you're curious, there's no printing, but 
There doesn't need to be. It's completely covered. And here is Ristal Sant, or it says the Thithalin Dancer on the box. But I think that this is a really incredible figure. Like the leg printing there, the feet printing is kind of weird. But the torso printing is really, really detailed. I love just how the aqua color being used there kind of blends in with the white. It's very, very detailed. Like, look, there's a texture back there that you could see. And the hair piece here from a minifigure series recolored in hot pink is amazing. And this hair piece here being recolored from a minifigure series in hot pink is incredible. The face print is so detailed. Like, look at that like the scales or whatever that is there amazing and she's got this angry expression and here is the Quarren minifigure absolutely phenomenal the fact that we're getting a new piece in this already amazing set like yes please it's like the hard rubber sort of plastic and i really love it like they just hit it out of the park here and the leg printing there is so detailed same with the back torso printing and he's even got some front torso printing that was covered up before and the last figure here is a weak way warrior really really great like i love the torso printing there with the braids coming onto the front and even the texture there on the side and on the bottom and then the face printing like that's so detailed the blaster and gunmetal gray and spinning it around here you can see the back head printing with the braids and everything there Looks amazing how that goes on down to the back torso. There you have it, everyone. That is my review of Boba Fett's throne room. And I see a lot of potential with this set. I think it's already a really great set. I just, you know, the scene is technically from The Mandalorian. We get it a little bit in the flashback from the book of Boba Fett. But I really feel like I need to just to get more. Like, there's more characters from the show specifically that are more important, I think, than some of the ones here that we need to get. Like, Black Crescenta would be really awesome. Some of the mods, even though I don't like them, would be really cool. But yeah, there's so much to do here. We need the Rancor and the Rancor Pit, please. I really want more expansions to this. I really hope that is the plan. And I'd love to do that video. So let me know and stay tuned for that if I wind up doing it. But hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.